welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have another intro for you. This is the third round of color pan. This is a project that was created by my friend Misty. Of course I'm gonna have her listed down below. Everyone with the Fantastic Ladies that has joined in, I'm gonna have that spreadsheet listed down below as well and all of the details will be in my description box. So basically this project is for ColourPop products or any of its sister companies. I think there's Fourth Ray Beauty, Soul, there might be some others, I don't remember, but anything that falls under that ColourPop umbrella is good for this project. It is 11 months long. It starts January 18th and will go to December 18th. And then we have to pick three to six products. So. I have mine picked out. I have picked out five of them and they are all in here to finish. I don't know if I can make that happen, but I am certainly gonna give it my best try. And I am just going to show them all to you really quickly. And then when I do my monthly update, I will hopefully have remembered to take some pictures of all of these. One thing is going to be lines for measurement. Everything else is going to be based off of pictures. So starting with the first product, it is a Super Shock Cheek or Super Shock Blush in Drop of a Hat. I love this color. I was kind of scared of it when I first got it. It was a gift from a friend and yeah, I wish I had used it sooner. It is absolutely beautiful. And my goal is going to be to finish this. And thankfully, even though this was limited edition packaging, they do carry this color still. And this might get replaced once it is done because I enjoy it that much. My next three are going to be Super Shock Shadows. And I have to say it slowly because otherwise it's a tongue twister to me. So the first one is in the shade Lady Bird. This is beautiful. I love it. It is like really icy, but it is, it's kind of like a silver and a taupe together. I don't know how else to describe it. I do have some Pam and some good usage on this one, but I am going to be attempting to finish this one as well. All right, the next two, I don't know which one is which because the labels are kind of worn, but one is Kush and the other one is Ritz. They're both very, very pretty. I just don't know which one is which. I probably could look it up and figure out so um, I will do that, but let's just start with this one because yeah, this is the one that I just grabbed first. I think this one is Ritz, but you yeah, can't really quote me on that because I don't know for certain. This one does have some very good usage on it. And of course there is pin in the middle. So I don't think this one is going to be a problem. I have never finished anything super shock, whether it was cheek or eye. So it's gonna be interesting to see if I can actually pull this one off. And then this one, like I said, I think, I think this one is Kush. I think Ritz is a little bit darker, but I could be wrong. Correct me if you guys know the difference between them. And again, this one has good usage and it has pan. It is absolutely pretty and I cannot wait to use this one. The very last product that I'm bringing in is this Color Sticks. It is in the shade Cool Breeze. I had to look down because I couldn't remember if this was Cool Breeze or Citrus Squeeze. And I knew I had finished one of them last year, I think. And it might have been the year before. It might have been in 2022. And I really want to get this one done. I have had it in a project before. I'm going to show you how much is left in here. It's not a ton, but I don't need a lot. And it's it's going to be competing with a lot of other products that I would use in the similar fashion, but I, I'm, I'm hoping. If you look right here, you see how much I have left on my markings. And I did swatch everything since this is an intro. So this is the blush in Drop of a Hat, Lady Bird. Um, I think it's Ritz and Kush, but it could be opposite. And then this one is Cool Breeze. I am very excited to be doing this project again. I am very, very excited to be working on some Super Shocks because I don't want any of them to go bad. I really like these a whole lot. And I have rejuvenated these, so they are working beautifully. So I don't even have to worry about them drying out this year since I put some oils in them, some face oils. I'm ready to just get moving on some of these products and get them done because that is what this year is all about. Using up some of my products and reducing my inventory numbers. That would be really, really nice. So we'll see how these five products go. If I happen to finish anything early, I might roll something else in 
or I don't know, I might just continue concentrating on everything else that is in this project. I will have to wait and see when that happens. There's no fear that any of these are going to be empty in the next month or two. So we'll, we'll see as the year progresses how I am getting on with these products, how much is left in them if I do finish a product, and I will make that decision then. Definitely go check out Misty. Again, she's going to be listed down below. There is going to be a spreadsheet of everyone else that has joined in. If you would like to join in, we would love to have you on this crazy painting journey. You do not have to be a part of the Facebook group in order to join in. We just ask that you wait until the project has actually started. So once we've posted it and you see the intros popping up, then you will know that it has started and you can join in at any time. Just pick your products, have at it. And if you are doing this project and you are not part of the Facebook group and you want other people to find you, Put your information down in the comment section. Wow, I couldn't think of the words. That way we can put you into the description box and other people can find you as well. Um, I think that is everything. Did I give you the dates? I can't remember if I gave the date. So it's January 18th to December 18th. So it is 11 months and you get to take a month off before I believe it's going to start again next year because I think this is kind of one of those recurring ones that we have within the Fantastic Ladies group. And I'm happy for it because a lot of us have ColourPop. Not everyone, but a lot of us do. And this is a nice way to make sure we are getting good usage on them. All right, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.